Sennheiser just updated their Momentum True Wireless lineup by dropping the Momentum True Wireless 3 earbuds. And price-wise, they have made the TW3 almost $100 cheaper here in Australia from the release price of the TW2. And for that money, out of the box, you get your standard documentation, one USB-C charging cable, three pairs of extra silicone ear tips, and three pairs of silicone fins in different sizes. And of course, the Momentum True Wireless 3 earbuds in its case. As you can see that the TW3 case is actually a little smaller than its predecessor which clearly makes them more portable, but surprisingly they are a tad bit heavier even with the smaller footprint. But nevertheless it's very much pocket friendly and looks wise the case is the exact same as the TW2 except for the positioning of the charging port and the battery indicator. On the earbuds though everything has been redesigned. They look more sophisticated, are smaller in size and most importantly they fit a lot better than before. The Momentum True Wireless 3 earbuds will slide in your ear canals very easily and then with a twist you can lock them in place and I had a very secure fit because of the new silicone fins on the middle of the earbuds which helps tremendously if you take them out for a run. And with the IPX4 rating this would be the perfect companion for a sweaty gym session. Connectivity wise the Momentum True Wireless 3 connects via the latest Bluetooth 5.2 technology and supports all the popular codecs including aptX and aptX adaptive. And in terms of battery with noise cancellation on and volume at 70% I got around 6.5 hours worth of battery life and with the case I was able to recharge them thrice. Also this new case offers wireless charging which is a welcome addition to this lineup and with the USB-C cable you can fast charge to get 1 hour worth of listening time in just under 10 minutes worth of charging. The controls on the Momentum True Wireless 3 are very sensitive, so much so that it is very easy to accidentally register a command which is very irritating. But on the good side, you can use just a combination of taps on both the earbuds to literally control everything music related without even having to reach for your phone. Sennheiser bumped the Momentum True Wireless 3 to have adaptive noise cancellation from active noise cancellation on the TW2. And the result is quite impressive. While they are way better at cancelling out low bass range frequencies, the Bose QuietComfort and the Sony XM4 earbuds still remain the best in business. But that being said, for most occasions like your morning commute or when sitting on a busy cafe, they pretty much perform very well at cancelling out most droning noises. Also there is a new feature called Anti-Wind. With this feature on, if you go out for a run or even if you are on a cycle, the whooshing effect that you get is somewhat reduced. Also the transparency mode is stronger than before, you will get super clarity without any artificial details which you often see in cheaper earbuds. As soon as I tested the Momentum 3 earbuds, I realized that the sound profile is pretty much exactly the same as the TW2. That means you will get a warm sound profile with not so much bass. In my test with a decibel meter, I found that they got up to the mid 90s in reading, which makes the TW3 more louder and gives them more bass than the TW2, but they do fall short of the Bioplay EX and the MW08 from Master and Dynamic, both of which scores more than 100. So I think if bass is your game, then you should look elsewhere as this is not one of the strongest side of the Momentum TW3. I have tried tweaking their 3 band equalizer with the bass boost feature, but I still felt like the bass was not deep or thumpy enough. The focus is clearly on the mid range and on the treble as both sounds very detailed and authoritative. So in some songs you will hear a lot of hi-hats, cymbals and snare, but not a lot of bass or the toms. But where Sennheiser really shines is with their instrument separation and harmonic distortion. Basically what they do best is when the sound level goes up, the TW3 manages to keep the sound clear across all frequency range. If you can pair this with high quality lossless audio from Amazon or Apple Music, then you will get a very smooth performance. That being said, I think if you have a refined palette in music, then you will appreciate the MTW3 a lot. But if you are into modern music, then you may be left wanting for more. Testing the microphone of the Sennheiser Momentum 2 Wireless 3 earbuds. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3.
The mic test on a roadside was definitely behind the best, the voice sounds suppressed and it also could not filter out most background sounds. So it will not be a good option for you if you take a lot of outdoor calls. But when indoors and when you do not have too much noise around you, the Momentum True Wireless 3 earbuds does quite well. Just have a listen to the next mic test. Testing the microphone of the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 earbuds. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. When the Momentum 2 came out, they really were the gold standard in terms of sound quality. But since then, a lot has changed in the true wireless landscape. Master and Dynamic, Bang and & Olufsen and even Status Between Pro really took the sound level game to the next level. Which is good news for us audiophiles, but for Momentum TW3 that's not so much good news. They are not better than them in sound quality, nor are they better than the Bose or Sony in terms of noise cancellation. But I think with the price at what they are being sold at, this is what makes them truly competitive. The MTW3 are definitely an incremental upgrade over the TW2 in all areas as you definitely get more for less money. But I am a little bit disappointed to see them fall behind the competition given that they had 2 years to work on these earbuds. But that's just me, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafis signing off till next week, peace.